What's going on, everyone? I got a little game here called Riff Racer. I was going to do Audio Surf again, but we already saw like everything there is to see in Audio Surf. So we're going to try Riff Racer, which looks a little bit more interesting, actually, um, for a music game with some level of... Um, it seems like you can do tricks. I want to say depth. There seems to be some level of depth, so like there's there's tricks you can do, there's all kinds of cool shit. So, um, we're gonna do this, it's gonna be fun. After this, we're gonna finish Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. But before we do that, I have to subject you to something. Something horrible. Red Vox released a new album today. I know, I know what you're thinking. How dare he use his platforms to promote his music? Well... I plead to the jury and to your honor, guilty as can be. Yes, I will be using my stream and my YouTube channel to promote my music, but I swear it is with the best of intentions for my own greedy needs and narcissism. Guilty as charged, your honor. So we're going to do this thing. It's called Blood Bagel. You may have heard of it. Um, Blood Bagel is... Well, I described it on my YouTube channel as something like, for our next album, we wanted to strive for more depth and more experimentation. This is not that album. This is Blood Bagel. Fuck you. The fuck you is the most important part. So this is an EP. It's only five songs, so I won't waste too much of your time. And, uh, we, you know, we had some fun. It was just, let's fuck around, let's have fun. It's one of the stupidest things I've ever been a part of of my life, so I'm very proud. Oh, and it's terrible. But let's check it out. Let's see what this game is all about, and I'll play you the album, I'll share a few stories. And like I said, this will all be over soon. Just, just, just pretend it's like going to the dentist and getting your tooth drilled. Alright? I mean, your tooth shield. That's what I meant, sorry. So this is Vomit in the Ball Pit, based on actual events, and this is a new song. Whereas some of the other ones are older songs, this one was brand new, was written based only on the title. That's all we had. I was like, hey, what about a song called Vomit in the Ball Pit? And, uh, well... Does the controller work with this? Oh, yeah. Hang on a sec, guys. Let's see if I can lower that a little bit. Put this up a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, this is probably... I like all of them, but this one might be slightly more my favorite because it is based on, you know, an actual event from my life, from my childhood. Mostly. So how the fuck do you do this? <laughs> yeah, I like that part. That's not how you do that. Oh, there's the boost. Oh, this is pretty badass. I know. I know I have to interrupt my own song. Kind of kind of blows. So you the object is to not crash into walls and to make sick drifts. Gotcha. Pretty badass game. But yeah, this is uh it's a song about stench uh Stencer of Branson Clown Vomit. I have a lot of good things to do with my time. Yes! And yes, that did hurt. That fucking hurt a lot. 
only after the fact. While it was happening, it felt like I was getting cummed on by a clown. Speaking of. Oh shit! I did a trick, I think. I also crashed into a wall. That last bit. Yeah, so is this really a song based on my or a track based on my song? Like I said, only some of it's based on actual fact. Only some of it. Some of this is the work of fiction and of Satan. Oh, I'm pretty terrible at this. When's the song gonna end? Oh, right now. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Oh, shit. I'm racing on a clown sans uh, soundscape. Red Vox got super fucking edgy, Vinny. What the fuck? This is an album about prolapsed assholes and clowns vomiting. I think we're allowed to get away with it. <laughs> this isn't our next real album. This is just for fun. Next track. I think this is... Um, Oh, I'm the first to do this ever. Can you believe it? So this game is pretty cool. I'm pretty bad at it. Anyway, this is one of the older songs. This one I think was written about. Um, fucking hell. How long, how long ago was this written? Eight years ago? Maybe nine? Not about eight. I'm, I'm wondering how much of this is actually based on my music. Because it's, it's hard to tell. These tracks just seem random. This is when I had gotten over laryngitis, by the way, that I did the vocals to the song. So I sound extra shitty. Story, if you listen hard enough, you can hear Joe's backing vocals in the song. Sorry, there's a centipede in my belt. Oh, it sounds like such glorious garbage. It makes me uncomfortable. What? What the fuck? <laughs> Stop that! Stop song edging me, game. This game has a multiplayer component too, by the way. You put your own songs in here and race songs with people. Don't get too much different until later. It's just loud. 
lots of loud. That may have, in fact, been a different lyric. That last one. I drove 93% in sync. I'm not playing in sync music. That's just not going to happen. No track editing. Oh. Uh, this one is called, was that Beat Hazard and Polynomial, the other two music games. Oh, that's cool. Well, I mean, Mono told me about this one. I was like, oh, that, that sounds kind of cool. It was interesting. It was on sale. I was like, fuck it. One second, guys. I have, um, I've been sneezing. I guess my allergies are acting up. I'm allergic to bullshit. Hang on. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Next track. So, um, yeah, we actually sequence these songs specifically. I, right, oh, 100 bonus points again. So this is a song called Tired of Love, and it's kind of a parody of the cock rock 80s. Metal bands, like Poison. You'll hear a lot of that. You'll hear some Van Halen. You'll hear me singing like an asshole. It was fun. I, this is one of the few times I keeled over laughing from doing something this stupid. I loved it. my mind was on one way road. Like a truck, I had to dump my load. A kettle maker needs to dip his wick. Come on, babe, I ain't your pogo stick. Riff Racer. You get up, you feel it. You get up, you see you're tired of love. Tired of love. You get up, you feel it. You get up, you see you're tired of love. Tired of love. Get ready for it. So that's me doing ah! with a B. I keeled over when I did that. I don't know why. It was just it was just hysterical that. Brian Johnson, bah. For no reason. Oh, yeah. Too much love, baby. and wrote a song around it. And me, Mike, and Joe all wrote lyrics to this. I think we're very pleased with the results. And this is more or less ad-libbed, what's coming up here. I didn't feel like I actually would need to write this. over my bed while I'm trying to sleep. Sometimes I get so tired that I just have to take a nap. It's not because I'm tired of you. It's because I'm tired of love. Love's such an ugly family word. The way you love me is fucking absurd. <laughs> Your libido is set to kill. You don't ever seem to get your fill. Here we go. Mike did this with his dick. Arms, feet, and 12 inch cock.
Yeah. You're not racing the laser. You stay between the two to be 100% in sync. Got it. Well, look at that shit. 100%, I guess. I actually did hold that note both times. For the double track and for the single track. I'm surprised I was able to even fucking do that, but I did it. Yeah. <laughs> Quit smoking two years ago so I could hold notes for a very long time. I like that one. I think that one, Joe had a lot to do with that one. That one was more Joe than the rest of us because Joe's a big 80s metal fan. Um, no, Mike did not use the red dildos to do that drum solo. It was a joke drum solo. I mean, the, the joke is like he's squiddly diddly. He's like a fucking octopus with eight arms. And what he's playing there obviously doesn't make any sense rhythmically whatsoever. So it was just like a parody of, I mean, explaining the joke kind of ruins it. But you know what? I don't give a shit. It's blood bagel. Fuck you. Um, the idea being, you know, it was terrible. And it's just a parody of, of the 80s metal drummers that just do these crazy big bombastic drum fills for no reason. We like that. So we gave one to Mike in the worst way possible. <laughs> anyway, this is a song called Fuck. Creative. Shut my pants on a date. Sucks. song that started the project. Recommended. Roll myself a shitty song. Not recommended. Not fucking recommended. Yeah, that's Mike. The second to last sentence of the song is rub one out. And then me ending with fuck. Yeah, but that's fuck. And Joe did the solo. I fucking love that solo so much. He did that. It was like, it, it, like you just felt it in your dick. When, you know, when you heard it for the first time. And, you know, when he's doing it. Like, and you see the, the solo and you hear the solo and your dick just fucking explodes into a bloody pulpy mess. Like, like Gene Simmons is spongy cock. Okay, maybe I'm talking a lot about dicks and stuff, but you know what? Let me have one night. Give me my one night, please. Like I said, I have nothing better to do. <laughs> this is the last track. Only five songs. Like I said, it's short. Um, the project started with Fuck. We wanted to record Fuck. Because the previous album was a, a very long recording session. And uh, it was intricate, a lot of different sounds, a lot of different things that, um, you know, took a while to really get right. The idea was, let's record fuck just as a joke. We'll just release it. Who, ca who cares? And then that turned into, well, we have Roid Rage and a song about AIDS. The song about AIDS, there really wasn't much to it. So we just dropped that. Uh, and Roid Rage, we repurposed and we really liked that one. Um, and then we found the Tired of Love riff, rewrote. And then we wrote Vomit and this one. And it was like, oh, let's make an album out of it. Why not? So the idea was to just do something incredibly quick, stupid, and funny. At least we think it's funny, but it is the most juvenile humor that you could find. And uh, 
It was worth it. Here's the ballad. Between the moons of Venus. Prepare your ship for docking. My probe is set for interlocking. Between the cheeks of love. Between the cheeks, my friends, my brethren. Between the cheeks. Cheeks of love. Remember, I told you guys I was looking for a gospel singer. Well, there you go. That was Arnell. And uh, that was uh, someone I got from Craigslist. True story. I, I went on Craigslist here. If, if this isn't interesting to anyone, then I mean, you know, if the song itself isn't, then this story might be. This, this is a good one. I <laughs> So... I, I knew I wanted a female gospel singer there, right? And I didn't want to, like, do falsetto or have anyone do falsetto. I wanted someone, like, legit with a good voice. I was like, who the fuck is going to do a song about assholes? No one. No one that does gospel. But I tried anyway, so I went on Craigslist, and I was, like, um, looking for gospel singer to strain, sing strange lyrics. I'm offering, I you know, a certain amount of money. It was a decent fucking chunk of cash, like 200 bucks I offered because 
I was like, I need to incentivize this. Otherwise, no one's going to want to do this. And I spoke to one person and she, you know, I was talking to her on the phone and uh, she, you know, did a lot of stuff, mainly hip hop, but she had done a lot of gospel. I know. And um, she was not really laughing. I explained the concept, blood bagel, all the things. And she would just maybe laughed a little bit. Like it sounded more like a nervous chuckle. Like I could use the money, but this doesn't seem like a good career move kind of thing. But we were set and she was pretty good. And then I got an email from Arnell and she said uh, that she was down and she had, you know, her videos were great. She was amazing at singing. And, and so I spoke to her on the phone and I said, I was like, hey, um, OK, well, we already have someone, but I want to give this a shot. Maybe, you know, how to do this better. Maybe you're better at this and maybe you'll get what we're doing. It's called Blood Bagel. Here's the concept. You're going to be singing deep between the cheeks of love, not the cheeks you're thinking of. And she just immediately burst out laughing. So my fear was that she was going to come to the studio and just immediately punch me in the dick. But that didn't happen. In fact, many laughs were had. And she is actually, um, to some extent, a gamer and has enjoyed my streams <laughs> subsequently. And she's fantastic. So thank you, Arnell. I bow down to your your amazing talent and your willingness to see past our stupidity um worth every penny it was so much fun so yeah i mean that's the blood bagel and uh we had a lot of fun i hope you enjoyed it um like i said i won't be like bombarding you with my music too much um in fact i've been keeping kind of quiet about this because i wanted it to be a surprise i didn't really want it to be like this hyped bombastic thing i figured when it's out it's out um so no more shall I talk about it, but I will say if you want to check it out, the best way to do it is you can go to vine.bandcamp.com, V-I-N-E dot bandcamp.com, and you'll see it there. It's $1. That actually really, really helps because it gets it higher on the charts at Bandcamp, which increases its visibility. It's $1, five songs, um, and you get pictures of me and Mike as a clown. Um, I do have one more song I want to play for you guys as just a kind of a thank you for your patience. Um, but yeah, I'll show you, uh, one quick thing. Mike and I became clowns for this album. We did this for you. We did this for you. And there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> and you'll see them on Twitter. Um, yeah, there's there's going to be more. There's tons of photos from the session. Some are pretty fucking hysterical. Um, and uh, that one in particular, that, that one is our promotion one. But I also have one. Um, here's one. You might like this one. You can see we're deep in the cheeks of love in this. Right there. See? There you go. Look at that. Was it a donut seat from when you got hemorrhoids? That's crazy, bro. And I also have um, I have one more. There's the there's a poster. I, I don't know what kind of person would want a poster of this on their wall. And I'd actually feel kind of bad for you if you did. But it is available and it, it is tremendously stupid. But of course, it had to be done. And I'll show you, here it is. This is the poster, everyone. Take a look at that. Mm -hmm. So we went through great lengths to, uh, to, to do stupid things. And uh, yeah, it was worth it. It was fucking worth it. <laughs> look at Mike. What is he fucking doing? <laughs> I'm just looking, cre you'll notice blood on my gloves. You'll notice that... Uh, I just left the blood on the gloves because why not? So yeah, that, that could be on your wall. How are you going to explain that to your parents? Huh? You can't you really can't. Um, but yeah, it's uh, you can go to redvoxband.com If you want to buy any of the stuff, including a CD without a booklet, there's no booklet, no lyrics. It's just a, a CD sandwich between two cheeks, um, two of cardboard. 
and it's you know it's just if anyone wanted it it's 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 for show it's cheap it's five bucks um there's a poster there's a new atom bomb shirt or if you have no interest in this a don't worry about it because you're not going to hear me talk about it anymore b if you have interest but no money it's free we put up a torrent go download it have fun it's seriously it's it's free same thing for the previous album we put up the torrents they're in the highest possible quality thank you gearomatic for helping me with that it's there you know where to find it go for it so all you bootleggers can go ahead and go and uh if you do want to support though and you have a buck the Bandcamp one is is the best way to do it again because it helps the visibility of it and um yeah that's about it really so i hope you enjoyed the blood bagel and uh thank you for your time so much thank you so much for your time and, and your patience i know you're not here for this necessarily i know you're here for the video games and you will get the video games you're gonna have non-stop video games until the next album release which will be in about a year um, i'll tell you a little bit about that and then i will show you one more song and then we'll begin some video games um the next album we have a lot of good stuff we've recorded nearly four songs in full so far aside from a few vocals it's coming really good Nearly all the songs are written. The direction of it is not Blood Bagel. It's more, I would say, a little more Ghost Page, a little more Radiohead, and then at times, a little more Queens of the Stone Age. It gets cool. Um, I believe in this material. Me and Mike are really happy with it. So hopefully in a year, we'll have something that um, you might find very interesting. And maybe early... Next year, we'll have a song to upload as a preview. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, if you want some other music, the Room to Breathe album is still up. I might have a few songs or one, at least one that I've been talking about. That'll be in the next few months. So, and that's it musically. Um, but yeah, before I switch to Crisis Core so we can knock that out and then hopefully begin Mario Sunshine soon. I would very much, and yes, Mario Sunshine will be my next big game, everyone. I'm fucking excited. But before we do anything, we got one more unknown title, unknown artist. What could this be? to point out a few more quick things before I switch. Anyway, yeah, it's uh, it's memes, that's why. But yeah, that's Scoot the Burbs, everyone. Anyway, um, two quick things. The first thing is, one, let me address, someone said in chat, Red Vox has become ICP. What the fuck? <laughs> it's, it's not, next album will not be about bloody assholes. It's, it's going to be a return to serious. The way I see it, like someone like Beck does joke album, then he does like a serious album, then I'll do an acoustic album, then like a joke, more hip hop album. We don't want to limit ourselves. We want to just, whatever music we're feeling at the time, we want to do do that. So we're going to do that. But next album is going to be more to your liking if uh, Blood Bagel is just too stupid for you. And it is, make no mistake. Um, the second thing is, um, I tweeted about it, but I want to show you probably the best comment I've ever received on my YouTube channel ever was this right here. It's like if Motorhead had diarrhea at a circus. I mean, I, I, it's as, that's as good as it gets, really. 
and I've also had people tell me that um, that they're ashamed to listen to that music in public. So, I mean, this has been the response has been overwhelmingly positive in essence. And and I'm really, really happy that you guys enjoyed it and that you're embarrassed to listen to it in public. So good shit. Good shit, everyone. So anyway, that was Riff Racer. Um, just to clarify, I thought this game was pretty cool overall. It, it's simple, but the racing is pretty good. It feels like um, it feels like a lot of thought was put into the way the, the game plays, the way it feels. So I like that. Um, I like that there's a ton of different cars you can drive too. You can even customize your car. Um, it does cost money though. So I mean, there is a sense of progression here. That's cool. Um, there is multiplayer. I have not tried the multiplayer. There's charts, of course. Oh, white stripes. Bird up. Oh, super fast jellyfish. <laughs> Are you crazy? That's wrong. Bundle tracks. Kevin McLeod. I actually know. I've used his music on uh, some of my videos. It's a neat little game for its price. I, I really like it. Um, and I, I just think that... Again, the multiplayer sounds cool. It's a simple concept. Audio Surf 2 had a lot of different types of game modes, but this one does a really good job at just remaining a racing game. And um, I could see myself actually playing that again. There are other games based on your own music, and that's something I want to investigate as well. So maybe we can check some of those out in the future. But anyway, um, yeah, I want to show you a little piece of art from Blood War 7. It was a secret. It was a pepperoni secret. For real. Well, again, let me go ahead and just thank you guys um, for taking the time out of your busy day and your Twitch career to uh, stop by and check out my Riff Racer stream with my Blood Bagel album. I know you don't have to do that, but I, I really do appreciate the time that you spent here. And um, even if you never check it out, I still thank you for your for your time. So let's do this. Let's get started on the Red Leather Club. <laughs> 